welcome to my channel platform studio this is Ayaj and today we are gonna talk about the new V-Ray 5 and some of its new components like new material manager and material presets and I will show how to use them the new V-Ray ships with over 500 ready-made materials this will give you a massive head start in your material creation while installing the new V-Ray 5 if you have your internet connection on uh, during the installation it will automatically download the entire material library which is I think about 8 gigabytes of data it will download it automatically but if you have older versions of V-Ray I will provide a link of the material library it's about 8 gigabytes of data i will give a link down below and don't forget to like and subscribe guys it helps a lot so let's start here i have downloaded uh, interior 3d scene uh, with material assigned i have added some lights and tweaked a little bit with the camera so here it is let's see how it looks when it is rendered let's go to rendering and render Here it is, it looks nice but let me show you how easily you can use V-Ray preset materials to change the materials of this scene, the materials of the objects, rendering, then material editor, compact material editor, here you will see the empty slots, let's select a slot and click on the get material click on the play get material icon so here click on the little arrow and open material library now here you will see there is nothing because it is it will direct you to the material library of 3ds max which has nothing so you have to find the V-Ray material library and here V-Ray material library click it and here you can see there are all kinds of materials bricks, paints, fabric, foam, glass, leather, liquid, metal, everything so at first I will select the glass and let's select a uh, normal class yeah it looks okay so let's assign the materials to the objects let's put it on the coffee mug and put it on the flower vase and the ball yeah now let's get to another slot get material open material library and video material library and metal so the, you can see there are a lots of metals here I'll choose something yellowish it's not really yellow but whatever so now for the floor let's select another slot and let's 
open the wood material library get material open material library go to video material library and select wood i think it's the wood and laminate yeah here so i want something dark in this floor so i'll choose a dark wood let's put it to the floor and don't forget to click on show shaded material on the viewport okay now let's choose a material for the sofa let's again go to the material library we the material library and let's go to leather and here you can see lots of leathers and i think i'll select something brownish yeah it looks it looks right i want it to be yellow so let's go to the diffuse map and change the color into something like mustard yellow which is my favorite color yeah maybe that's okay okay that's, that's enough i think yeah it looks good enough and also you can as you can see there's no diffuse map for the metal so we can directly change the color from the diffuse panel let's make it brighter yeah now for the chairs I will choose something like a plastic plastic material library and open material library again go to video material library and here you will find plastic here plastic yeah you can see lots of plastic materials so i will choose this orange one and i put it and let's see it doesn't have a map it has colors so i'll i'll brighten up the colors to match the other colors and yeah i think it looks okay yeah. let's put it on the other chairs Okay, I want something darker for the walls as I'm going for a dark theme. Let's open the material library and select some concrete. I will select the first one. Yeah, let's see how it is. Yeah. Sure, shaded material. Yeah, it looks okay. And I think I will stick with it. This is just a demonstration. So, yeah, I think it looks okay. Okay, let's let's go to camera view and. It looks okay and press render. Let's see how it looks.
it looks cool but the colors are not matching I want the colors to be same and I also want to change the texture of the table the material of the table so let's fix the colors first I will first change the colors of the plastic chairs If you double click on a slot it will show you a bigger sample so here let's brighten it up a little bit and a bit add a little orange yeah and Let's change the soft surface color. Oh. oh, it's too orange. Uh, I think that's that's right. That's, that's about right. Okay, let's move on and let's open another slot for the table for the material of the table. Let's select another slot. See, we already imported the wood material category so it will be there you'll just need to select and I want something dark like the floor so I think that's that one let's see how it looks it's not it's not dark enough. I want something darker. Let's select another one. Uh, this one, uh, yeah, this one is dark. I think I'll stick with this one. Let's apply it. Make it visible and that's it so unhide everything and let's go to camera view video physical camera and open the render frame and render again So here it is, it looks different and I think it looks cool, let's compare it to the first render we did, see how easy it is to change materials in new V-Ray 5, I hope you guys like this video and please subscribe it helps my channel